Welcome back to the Forensics Detailing Channel. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you can be bothered. Um, today, we're doing a comparison of Optimum No Rinse, the, the flagship rinseless wash product that you've all heard of and everyone talks about, ONR, versus the relative new kid on the block from McKee's, is that McKee's 37? Uh, N914 rinseless wash okay so what are both these products first of all before we get started they're called rinseless washes so you mix up some solution with water at a 256 ratio with both of the products which is a bit uh a bit of a coincidence um and then you put your wash media of choice whether it's these the big red sponge that you can buy with Optimum no rinse or the big gold sponge, <laughs> which looks very similar um, with McKee's. Uh, or you could use a microfiber towel. So you soak that out in this rinseless solution. You go over your panel and you clean it with the contact and this the lubrication of the rinseless wash. I'm doing a little bit of a dancing going on here. And then you take a dry microfiber towel and you wipe the panel dry. Both of these products contain a Switter Ionic, which is, I think, an amphoretic. Don't try and sound clever. It's a type of surfactant that isn't positively charged or negatively charged, but somewhere in between, like the Liberal Democrats of surfactants, um, neither on the left or the right. Don't do humour. Um, so it's like a surfactant lubricant that's slightly different to a cationic or a non-ionic or an anionic um, surfactant so different from your normal car shampoos it's supposed to not leave any residue behind so when you clean it it makes an ideal preparation for anything you want to do afterwards and you don't have to rinse the products off that's the key so if you're in a water restricted area like we might have in the uk with all this hot weather but parts of america and other parts of the world you know water's a problem spain etc you can wash your car with this without using much water you can also increase the concentrations and use them as a pure waterless wash where you just you don't mix them out with so much water you know what i mean so you spray on and kind of just wipe off a stronger concentration you can also use them as clay lubes um you can use them they, they talk about panel prep with this one which we'll talk about in a second now the first thing i want to compare these two products on is the price in the UK, McKee's costs twenty four ninety five from Interdetailing, where you might be able to get ten percent off with the code Forensic. If it doesn't work, it's not my fault. Not everything's discountable, but try. Um, twenty four ninety five for thirty two ounces. We get short change. Thirty two ounces isn't isn't a litre. It's nine oh nine millilitres. It's fluid jibber jabber. Drives me bonkers. <laughs> I just don't. I can't relate with that thing. O and R costs twenty one pound seventy nine. So if you can get ten percent off, you can get sub twenty pounds. So there's a little bit di difference in price there of what three pound twenty roughly, something like that. three pound fifteen. I don't know. Um, significant? What's that? That's somewhere between ten fifteen percent. God knows. Someone put the maths in the in the comments. Um, if you're interested in buying the recommended wash media for each, the BRS a bit of fluff on there. It's been stored with some wool. Um, mitts, it's not dirt, which I've had for years and it does last up pretty well. £25. Whew. But the BGS, we've got we're going full TLA here, three letter acronyms, is 30 quid. A note on this I don't think in the UK people will pay these prices for these products. You'll get the odd fanatic um, that will cough up for it because because they go with it. But I just think these are too expensive. And I've said it before. I want to see both these companies sell and get these products viral and get people using it. These need to be closer to £10 for me, for a block of sponge. I, you know, in my head, it's a block of sponge. Good quality sponge, you know, um, no doubt. It's got grills in it, but closer to £10. And you'd sell them like hot cakes and everyone would have one. Right. So the price goes to optimum no rinse. It seems to be cheaper and you use it at the same ratio. So we're doing this on the fly. That's that's one, let's put a tick there. So, so the O&R's got a tick. Now, I wanna look at the quality of the instructions. Let's take the McKees 37 product, first of all. So we know it's a rinseless formula, four in one, highly concentrated, eco-friendly. Oh, 
946 MOI. My 909 might not be correct then. Um, so, do not take internally, so don't drink it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm deadly serious when I say that. I've got to be responsible. Do not take internally. Keep all the materials out of reach of children. Whoops, I better put it down. Avoid contact with the eyes. So, you know, yeah, first aid, flush it out. This is all responsible stuff. Store it. Don't try and throw it on the barbecue uh, and all this other stuff. No instructions here. Where is it? Here's the good stuff. McKee's 914 Rinseless Wash combines four useful products into one highly, highly concentrated formula. These are highly concentrated. Use as a rinseless wash at 1 to 256. That's the main advantage with its product and the high chemical cost because I, I feel 24.95 for a litre, near a litre of surfactant is expensive, but you use tiny amounts. So I just break it down 250 ml there of water. If you turn that into a litre, so times it by four, you use four mil per litre. So if you're using a 10 mil of wash bucket, that's 40 mil. If you're using five mil wash bucket, that's 20 mil. So you don't use very much of this. And these bottles tend to last a long time. So they are quite good value for money. Let's not try and be too cynical and stupid in this video. I, I you know, I'm a purchaser of O&R. Okay, you double the concentration to get it. It's a clay lube and the same as a waterless wash, one to one, two, eight. So if you had 10 litres of waterless wash, you'd be using 80 mil. So you still get cracking value out of it. One to eight is paint prep. I don't use these as paint prep because they can't degrease. Um, they're not good degreasers. And, you know, paint prep to me is removing polishing oils before putting down sealants and stuff. So I don't know, but maybe it can degrease if, if it's a paint prep. Regardless of the application, McKee's 37N914 creates a protect, protective layer of lubrication that prevents marring and swell marks caused by dirt, grit and synthetic clay. So it's good to think of this as a sort of water-soluble lubricant. No-nonsense formula it does not alter the look, feel or performance of your wax sealant or coating, so it shouldn't affect your hydrophobidity or degrade your beadage. This highly concentrated formula does not contain protective polymers or glossive agents. It's a pure cleaner with nothing extra. I like the fact they put that on there. So in theory, it leaves nothing behind. So the lubrication, when you buff it off, is buffed off. If you let them dry on the panel, they can leave residues that you have to buff off. I've noticed that. Um, and there's all your different concentrations. Um, sorry, unless I'm missing something here, there are no directions. There are no directions on how to use it. How did that slip through the, um, you know, how did that slip through when they're creating this product? That there's no directions. You've got to have a direction, a one, at least one direction. I could have danced all night to the worst song ever. Sorry. <laughs> you don't know you're beautiful. Worst band on the face of the planet. Um... Now, optimum no rinse, let's have a look. So it tells you where water is restricted, makes a great quick detail, a clay lube, water soluble, biodegradable, meets all water usage laws. Yeah, cool. Uh, use on all vehicle surfaces, paint, fiberglass, plastic, glass, gel coat, vinyl decals. That information is really useful to me, actually. Um, really useful. And that should be on the McKees label. Optimum no rinse, wash and shine concentrate is the fast, efficient and most environmentally friendly way to wash any vehicle. My eyes are going, I thought it said whale. <laughs> whale washing. Its proprietary polymers blend to the bond to the surface and trap dirt to clean without rinsing and leave a very slick finish that is mar free. I had bonding to the surface. I didn't think it did that, but who knows, um, you will properly use, you will not scratch your vehicle surface. M yeah, maybe. Follow with optimum car wax for maximum protection, shine and slickness. Optimum no rinse, wash and shine. Oh, that's a different thing, isn't it? Oh, no, that is this thing, yeah. There's a, there's one, there's a wash and wax one that leaves wax behind, but this is the pure one. Can be diluted to make the most effective quick detailer. Well, 
Can it be a quick detail if it doesn't leave anything behind? Is a question for me. Uh, and clay lube. I don't find Optimum No Rinse a good quick detailer. Uh, Clean Water Act, groundwater pollution. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep, yep, I believe all of that. And it's got hazard thing on there, which is good. Um, cleans and shines in one step, etc. But we have destructions. We have some destructions. You must have directions on your product. Because um, McKees might feel that it's obvious how to use it. Not, It's obvious to you, but it might not be obvious to people that are new to rinseless washes. So you've got to give them some guidelines. And these guidelines are good. I'd make your solution, soak your towel or sponge in the bucket, wash one section at a time till the area is clean, dry each section with a drying towel, the optimum one, okay, I ain't got that. If the surface dries before wiping, just wash again and dry, yeah, so re-wet it almost. Excessive dirty surfaces may require a second wash, okay. Uses a clay bar lube at different concentrations and you can use it on all these different vehicles. Okay, well, that's pretty simple to me. The instructions on the OMR bottle are much better, and I've got much less questions, although around, still gives me questions about does it leave anything behind, where with this it sort of implies it doesn't. So 2-0 to optimum no rinse so far. Is that fair? Put in the comments. Now, what we're going to do is mix some of this out, guys, because, well, first of all, we've got two buckets with five litres in there. So that's about 20 mil of solution we're going to put in. And we have a really dusty car with good paint that I'm very nervous about washing with waterless wash. And I'm going to, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this wing with one product and this wing with the other. And you can see this, this is light kind of where it's rained and stuff and it will come off. It should wash off. It's kind of like an ideal demo for a waterless wash. Right, let's get stuck in and put this down on the panel. What I'm gonna do is just stop the video so I've got this in the can. Okay guys, so I've mixed out the O&R there, 20 mil to five liters. I'm gonna mix this one out with the same ratio. You can see it going in. By the way, it smells, this smells of like fruity pineapple. And this smells of berry, but it's got a slightly funky slightly a twang as i call it so let's mix got a microfiber in there soaking out let's mix this out and let's start with the mckees Ooh. okay so we've got loads of solution just plonk this on the panel just wet the panel out gently see all that dust and dirt and grime feel when I go over it you know you know some people say to spray it all out first but I'm just doing the same process with both of them it does feel slidey soak out. Gee, I might do the whole car Let's just soak In this outfit. Get some more solution on that. Ooh, I do not like the sound of that. <laughs> I'll, if need be, I can always polish this paint again. I think there's some protection on there that's helping it. dry microfiber cloth this is the bit I worry about what's this like I'm just going very gently um, let's give it a little flip <laughs> paranoia do the like the drag you know you get that with it with this factor so you do have to buff it dry and I've still got little spots in there so it just needs that buff and I don't like buffing I'm not gonna buff this 
but I'm gonna just slowly do it because I'm I can feel that contact. <laughs> okay, and that will do some residues there. Let's see how they dry up. Let's swap these around. Put that on top. Let's get our O and R. Not bad though. The wiping the dirt off bit is really nice. Can't tell any difference really. Just feels good, kind of. Just loads of solution. I'm not pushing into the paint at all. Just letting the microfiber, that doesn't sound good, go over it. I notice this is clearing the liquid off the panel a bit more on this side. Can't remember what I've got on here. But Definitely a different water behaviour, it's quicker. It's almost like this is a bit lighter. All right, let's take a clean towel. It's sticking. I don't want to buff hard. Still get those little spots of stuff footprints that just need a bit more buffing I think that was I don't know still got some residues there but that'll flash off let's just get the the keys towel. It's almost got a slightly maybe that just that towel's a bit wetter, so that's probably mainly water. Right. <clears throat> Just get a torch. Come with me. Not much difference between the two products. I really don't like doing that, but it, it wouldn't take me. It would be so quick to just do my car now, and it would be like looking half decent, whereas before it was looking rubbish. You know what? It hasn't swelled it all up. I'm not expecting. Still some little chunks of bits on there that it doesn't get off. See little chunks, little things. You, you, they always clean better with a proper wash but I've not covered it in swirls. So I think we know you can use these products and they're actually quite safe if you're light-handed. So maybe I could go a bit more heavy-handed and get, more, get it cleaner, but then do I risk more swirls? Okay. I'm gonna go back inside and finish off the video, but look at that, it's all right. Okay guys, so which one's the best to use? They feel virtually identical to me. Both of them, when you put the solution out with the wet microfiber cloth, it feels like it does a really good job. 
of getting most of it off and it feels quite slick you know when you're using it and wiping it when you buff um when you buff this one was showing less hydrophobicity i don't know if i've got different products on either side this o and r was like revealing the you know it was parting the liquid a little bit faster on that side so maybe, maybe i mean this is an old bottle as well so maybe that's coming into play i don't know but really I have no preference over which one of these two I would use. They both seem to work more or less the same. And I can't feel one being mega slick where the other one is mega rough. I really wouldn't care. Um, I'm going to go and do the rest of my car now. And while I'm doing it, I'm going to have a think about these products. And then I'll come and summarise the end of the video. Okay, guys, I've done my whole car. And it's taken about five minutes. And... Um, I'm really happy with the results. It's not, like if you look at all the little gaps and stuff, there'll be bits I've missed. Could have dried that rear, rear bumper a bit better. The inside of the glass has got some smears on it. I haven't gone inside the car. But, essentially, she's pretty clean with the odd residue mark. Let's go on the roof where the sun is. You see those little fine residues? Baking hot as well, by the way. Oh, example of where you like, I've missed a bit because I haven't kind of wiped properly there, but that's probably more me than the product. But like, I feel like I could drive around in my car now and it's going to look cool. Um, yeah, especially in the shade. <laughs> um, and look at it today, look. Look. And no issues with water spotting. Um, just like a very quick clean, I'm not even sweating. Now, one observation, this is the McKees. We've done half the car with the McKees and half with the O&R. Do you see like the water seems a lot dirtier with the McKees and the O&R? I don't know if it, more of it's in the microfiber because the car was equally dusty. But I felt like this was maybe cleaning better. I don't know. I'd be more... I'm, totally happy with either of these guys i'm trying not to sit on the fence and give you a recommendation i think this one might have cleaned a little bit better and i was relying a little bit more on the microfiber but both of these are absolutely fantastic products you can wash your car with them and i'm not a master at doing waterless washes i know some of you guys are and you do it all the time the bit that I am worried about is buffing the residues off when you know it's not a squeaky, clinically clean panel. And I'm doing that really carefully. And I think if I buffed it a bit harder, I'd have less little kind of watermarks and stuff like that. But I don't even know if it's watermarks, little residues where you saw where you saw, see the sunshine. So I don't have like that real crisp finish. When I wash my car, I, I towel it all off. I blow dry it. I get it in. I go over it with a detail spray and I buff out all the panels with a bit more confidence. This, for me, will never replace a full wash where I'm using the pressure washer. The pressure washer gets into all of the crevices and the grills, blasts out all the dirt. When you pre-wash, you soak all the car out. That's just the way I'm going to do it. But interestingly, we have had an email from our water company saying, you know, avoid washing your car. And if I was using the hose, I would have used tons, whereas I could have washed my entire car with this one you know, five litres of solution, and I could even keep the solution for next time. So I could really be responsible and just maintain my car with these products, but I'll use them every now and then, perhaps when they're in the garage, and I've come, I've done some polishing on the car, and I come back the next day, and it's been windy, and there's dust over the car. I use them then for that. Um, I use them as clay lubes. Um, now, which one am I going to buy going forward? The honest answer is either of them, but there is one really important factor to all of this that I haven't talked about and that is why L Ivan LaCroix I really got into using Optimum No Rinse because of all the social media stuff that Ivan did on on you know with Optimum when he was working for them and he did, did loads of videos on how you can use this and it's good for glass as well and you can even clean your alloys with it and all these little tips and tricks with O&R and now Ivan has left Optimum No Rinse. I don't know if he's working for McKees. I'm kind of more inclined to use the McKees just because I can get all the tips and tricks from Ivan. Um, 
you know, about how to use it because he washes his cars with these products. Um, so, yeah, that's probably the way I'd go, guys. This bottle of O&R has lasted me about three years. And that, you know, that quarter will last me probably another year. <laughs> Maybe a bit less. After that, I'll switch over to the McKees and use that. And this bottle will last me for about three or four years. And then when I come to replace it, um, I'll see which one I'll go for. What the, what the companies do in the meantime is very important to me and how how they kind of push and promote these products. I think there might be a new version of O&R that's out that's supposed to be different as well. I don't, don't know on that. You put that in the comments. The other thing is the distribution for, for the Optimum products in the UK hasn't been great. I couldn't get their power clean to put it into the APC shootout because it wasn't available. And there was some sort of supply line problem. And this, I couldn't get it anywhere as well. So it's very important for brands to sort out their supply line and get that sorted. But I think a summary of this video, guys, is you can use these rinseless wash products to very rapidly remove dirt and dust from your car. Your results on whether you swirl it or not are going to be down to how heavy handed you are and how you use the products. But they can be just as effective. The thing you lose is just the removal of all that dust with the pre-wash. You know, that I could get that car 99% dirt free with the pre-wash and then the contact wash, there's 1% of the dirt left. Whereas these products are having to cope with removing 100% of the dirt through contact. And that, regardless of how good the product are, is or are, that introduces an additional risk and you can feel it when you're going over the paint. And if you're heavy handed, you can probably swirl your paint. So I'd be very careful with the buffage. Um, don't miss bits like I've had. You could spend more than five minutes doing it, spend 20 minutes. And I think, you know, I'll just end the video by walking out saying that, you know, I'd be really, if I take my car out now, people will look at it again and think, wow, that's really nice and clean. It's a really nice example. And five, 10 minutes ago, it looked awful. The alloys ain't looking great, I know. <laughs> don't, they're getting refurbed, so I'm not even gonna bother cleaning those. So there it is, guys. I think I'll go with the McKees from now on in. Thank you for watching. Let me know your favorite and why. And if you like waterless washes, do you use them? Do you trust them? Will you always be a you know, water guy with the pressure washer and the full wash process? Um, let me know your thoughts. Take care. And don't forget to subscribe. And you can get these both from Into Detailing. Try discount code forensics. I'll put a link in the description. Holding on to what I knew, but the moment's gone. Where was I when you?